I have here two of Tiger Woods's clubs, the mill grind three wedges from TaylorMade. But whilst also having a review of these clubs, I thought I'd play some of Tiger's shots around the green, show you how he does it to improve your own game. So the whole point of these wedges, they are the same grind as Tiger uses when he's dominating the world of golf, when he's not injured. Now in his bag, he uses a 56 and a 60. I have the 56 degree here, and we're just chipping up onto the green here at Reddish. Imagine if the first one went in, it didn't. The 56 degree has a dual sole and it also has a lot of heel relief. Now heel relief, toe relief, these are very golf pro E terms. And the relief we're talking about here is not the relief of hitting a green, even though that is a real thing. It's about how the club interacts with the turf. Think about relief on the heel or the toe, making the club more slippery as it contacts the ground. So it doesn't get dug in as much, especially when you're adapting the sole, opening up the club and playing those specialist shots. Now the 60 degree, it actually has quite a high bounce for a lob wedge. It's 11 degrees, but also the front edge of this wedge, oh my word, that spans so much. <whistles> the front edge of this wedge, it almost has a little bit of extra milling on it. Now, bounce on a wedge, very simply, is the difference between the leading edge and the back edge of the sole. The greater that difference in the angle, the more bounce a wedge has. Now, I'm not sure Tiger would be playing this high of a bounce if you played somewhere like an open venue that was baked out. Maybe you might do, I'm not sure. I don't have his number to hand. Can that one go? <laughs> Green's getting quick here at Reddish, by the way. And the greater the bounce on a wedge, the less likely it is to dig into the turf. But also that means that the leading edge sits a little bit more off the ground, which on hard lies can become a little bit twitchy. Oh, but when you strike this, the spin. But with the relief added to the heel and the toe, that's what TaylorMade say enables these wedges to be adapted, to be opened up, to allow a Tiger to play all the different shots that he can. Oh, wow. I mean, I could hit it harder. I mean, even the 56 is spinning lows. That's ridiculous, that. It's a little bit into winter. Let's not, you know, let's not get crazy. But can I get backspin <laughs> on a 60 degree from about 10 yards? No. So you can see why it's called mill grind here. All these markings. This is where the milling machine grinds it. So the precise specifications needed. I've recently done a video on raw wedges, which you can find here. This face, when left exposed, will go rusty. I have my doubts whether that actually makes any difference or not, but Tiger seems to like it, so who am I to argue? The face of this also has micro ribs, and this adds more spin, apparently. So the first shot we're gonna have a look at here is a high floating pitch shot. Now this is best utilized in this kind of situation. So we've got a bunker, in between me and the flag, it's downhill as soon as the green starts, a very difficult shot. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to test myself off the tightest, barest lie I can find. Let's actually see if this 60 degree with the heel relief will actually make a difference. I'm not gonna lie, this shot is making me a little bit nervous. So that means that if you are gonna attempt this, please practice it first. So we want to get this ball stopping quickly. That means we need launch, we need spin. So whereas normally I would have the face quite square, I am going to open up that club face. Now, when you open up the club face, you add loft, but I also want to maintain that loft throughout the shot. I'm going to put the ball position at the front of my stance. So you can see here, it's pretty much inside my left heel. I'm then going to move about 70% of my weight onto my left side. As I take the club back, I'm going to get the feeling that that club face is pointing back at me. This is going to maintain an open position. I'm going to move through the ball, and this isn't about hitting down and taking a massive divot. This is about getting the club engaging with the ground, whipping it underneath, and then getting that club face pointing back at me. And all these movements are going to allow that maximum amount of height of spin. Oh wow, look at that, pop straight up. Oh, stop it. And this is off a very, very, very tight lie. You can kind of hear it. <laughs> now the scary thing is if someone knocked back, 
You can also adapt this shot slightly. So if I put the ball a little bit further back in my stance, keep the open club face, keep that little bit of weight forward, and then just get the same feeling, club face back at me, club face back at me, but don't have such a long swing. You can get that ball still getting quite high with a lot of spin. It's going to run out a bit more, but this might be, this might be quite a nice little segue into the shot if you are a little bit nervous. And off this kind of lie, I mean, I don't blame you. Look at that though, see that? Wow. I'm actually surprised how much I like these wedges. Now, when I was testing out the Mill Grind 2, I liked them, but I didn't love them. I thought there were better alternatives. These, however, I don't know if it's just got the TW stamping on it. I don't know whether why, whether why, or I don't know, no, no words anymore. But I am excited about it. I think it just looks so nice. And the next demo I wanted to do was Tiger Woods' high spinning pitch. Now, the technique on this doesn't vary massively from pro to pro, but there's something really cool that Tiger does. And it's not something which many people think about. And it's all about a hand path coming through the ball. So setup wise is very simple here. The ball position is going to be in the middle of my stance. My feet are quite narrow. And I'm going to put a little bit of weight on my left side. The backswing, I'm just going to let my left arm come to parallel and I'm going to have a nice wrist hinge. So the club here is pointing up at the sky. My backswing and my through swing are going to be very, very lazy, very, very relaxed. So Tiger, once he gets halfway back, he just allows his arms to drop down and then he turns towards the target. But what's really cool is that his hands, they go low and left around the body. So as the hands go low and left around the body, what he's able to do is control the club face really well. So it's that turn to the left, hands going left, but you can see even though the hands are going left, the club is tracking down towards the target. And it's that that allows him just wonderful face control. And the turf interaction on these shots is great. So overall, super, super impressed. These are very much comparable to the best wedges out there. Your Cleveland's, your Vokies, your Riddell's. These are class. I really, really enjoyed using these over the last few days. And guys, if you like this video, make sure you check out more content here. Subscribe to the channel. Get down to the comments as well. Let us know what you think about these Tigers wedges. And we'll see you next time.